Assalamu alaikum, grade 8. How are you? I hope all of you are hale and hearty, happy and ecstatic, going to school, going for hangouts and generally enjoying your life. But among all this hustle and bustle, keep this in your mind that your academics should be your first priority because academics is going to take us to the zeniths of this world. And, 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 along with academics, be concerned about your salah in hukukul ibad. Because those are going to take you towards the zenith of the hereafter. Alright, after all this discussion, let's start today's lesson and let's see what I have brought for you today. Let's move towards the board. G. Mera bohat pyara beta or bohat pyari bitia. What is the board telling you? The board is telling you that you are going to do mysteries, which is unit 3 of your Oxford Progressive Reader. You have to take your Oxford Progressive Reader out, open its unit 3. And this unit is called as the mysteries. And which mystery we are going to do today? We are going to do a poem, which is the listeners. It is from page number 63 to 68 of your book. And it's written by Walter D. La Mer. He is the writer of this poem and he has written this poem which is the listeners. Sabse pehle jo iski aapke saath mein karungi wo hai iski archaic language. Archaic language kya hoti hai? Archaic language wo language hoti hai jo ab obsolete ho chuki hai. Jo ab use nahi hoti. Thik hai? Wo general everyday life mein wo boli nahi boli jati. Wo archaic ho gai hai. Since this poem was written a very long time ago, so this language, its words, is specific poem me use hue hue hai. Main un words ki meanings aapko pehle bataungi, aur uske baad phir ham move on karenge vocabulary par, aur phir ham is poem ko read karenge. To jo aake ek language isme use hui hai, usme sabse pehle hai smote. Smote kya hai? Wo past tense hai smite. Smite kya hai? Smite ek bahut old word hai jo use kiya jata tha. Knock करने के लिए, ठीक है? Knock over के लिए, या hit करने के लिए. दूसरा word है hearkening. Hearkening का मतलब है listen to. ये word hearkening introduce किया था William Shakespeare ने अपने one of the plays में, जिसका मतलब होता है hark, listen to the voice, right? वहाँ से ये word famous हुआ और फिर बहुत सारे writers ने अपनी writings में, creative writing में इसको use किया. उसके बाद था नीत नीत से पहले इधर apostrophe है ये apostrophe ये बता रहा है कि b और e यहाँ से हमने निकाल दिए हैं और उसकी जगह नीत लिख के apostrophe डाल के ये भी नीत यानी नीचे use किया है right speak speak जो है वो आखिर एक form है spoke की ठीक है हम तो अभी बोलते हैं ना speak spoke spoken आखिर एक language में यानी पुरानी language में spoke को कहते थे speak और लास्ट वर्ड है आई ये तो अभी भी यूज होता है आई आई कमांडर जो नेवल लैंग्वेज में यस आई आई कमांडर इसको इस तरह से यूज करते हैं नेक्स्ट मैं आपके लिए लाई हूं वोकैबुलरी आप देखो कि आपकी पोम है पोम के बाद आखिर एक लैंग्वेज की डिस्क्रिप्शन है और उसके बाद वोकैबुलरी है वोकैबुलरी में आपको क्वेश्चंस दिए गए हैं कि इन दिस स्पेसिफिक लाइन व्हाट डस दिस वर्ड इज रिप्रेजेंटेड विद ठीक है मीनिंग्स दी भी हैं और आपसे कहा गया है कि इन स्पेसिफिक लाइंस में ये जो गिवन मीनिंग्स हैं इनसे रिलेटेड वर्ड्स आपने निकालने हैं। I have not written the entire statement. I have only written the words. अगर आप क्वेश्चंस चेक करो तो क्वेश्चंस की हाया की सेम है। आपने सिर्फ क्या करना है कि मीनिंग्स और वर्ड्स बुक खोल के मेरे साथ साथ लिख ल Describe the word that is used for eight or graze. और उसका मतलब या उसका जो word related है वो है chomped. Next is earth in the forest and its coverage. 
describe the word that is used to narrate that is used to highlight the earth in the forest and whatever was its coverage and the answer is ferny floor small tower is turret worried or mystified is perplexed knocked loudly is smote part of the window and everything that was around the window is the leaf fringed sill let's move on complete the vocabulary and then i'll read the poem for you the next question in the vocabulary is ghostly and ghostly is referred as phantom the only one around is lone crowding round is stood thronging gazing and the grass the next word for the grazing and grass that is used in the poem are cropping and dark turf filled with stars starred flowed surged the rest for the rider's foot stirrup riders ke liye jockey ke liye ghode ke upar ek zeen dali jati hai theek hai urdu mein zeen kehte hain usko us zeen mein paon phasane ke liye jagahein hoti hain unko kehte hain stirrups galloping is plunging ye the bachche aapke wo words jo use hue hain poem mein aur unki meanings all right so i will now read the poem for you it's going to appear on your board you open your textbooks and read the poem side by side with me i'll do the explanations as well so that you can understand why this specific poem is narrated is used as a comprehension in the text unit mystery is there anybody there said the traveler traveler ka t capital hai because traveler ka naam mention nahi hai और ट्रैवलर ही हम उसका नाम अज्यूम करें इसलिए उसका टी कैपिटल है राइट नॉकिंग ऑन द मुनलिट डोर एंड हिज हॉर्स इन द साइलेंस चैम्प्ड द ग्रास ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट फर्नी फ्लोर नाउ इन द मून लाइट अ ट्रैवलर इज नॉकिंग वन ऑफ द डोर्स इन द मिडल ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट एंड हिज horse is comfortably eating the grass which means there is no danger around and a bird flew up out of the turret turret kya hote minar theek hai to uske ek jo bhi house hai minar mein se chidiya bahar bhagi hai above the traveler's head and he smote upon the door again a second time is there anybody there he said but no one descended to the traveler no head from the leaf fringed sill he is knocking loudly he is shouting he is asking anybody here but no one is coming down from the upper floor to open the main door neither is there anybody standing in the leaf fringed cell that is a balcony theek hai wo balcony hai aur puri balcony jo hai na wo leaf ki fringes yani belo se saji hui hai leaned over and looked into his gray eyes now i know that the traveler had gray eyes when he stood perplexed and still he is perplexed confused and still he is waiting for somebody to answer but there is no one over there who dancer his call but only a host of phantom listeners phantoms kya hote hain ghosts the ghosts were over there and nobody was over there to listen to his call that dwelt in the lone house then only the ghosts were living dwelt ka matlab hota hai living they were living in that lonely house stood listening in the quiet of the moonlight to that voice from the world of men zindagi se insano ki duniya se aati hui awaaz ko khamoshi se wo sun rahe the they were not responding they were not answering at all stood thronging the faint moonbeams on the dark stairs they were standing over there and the light shade of the moonlight was falling on the stairs that goes down 
the empty hall now they are describing the inside of the house there was an empty hall and the stairs were going up and the ghosts were actually standing on the stairs jahan pe halki halki chhan ki bhi chand ki roshni aa rahi thi hearkening in an air stirred and shaken jab hum bolte hain to hamari sound wave se shake hoti hai hawa usme stirring hoti hai to they were listening to the waves that were stirred and shaken theek hai by the lonely traveler's call and he felt in his heart their strangeness their stillness answering his cry while his horse moved cropping the dark turf neath the starred and leafy sky for suddenly he smote on the door even louder and lifted his head tell them i came and no one answered that i kept my word he said never the least stir made the listeners he shouted compelled he asked the listeners to answer him but they did not nobody stirred in the house nobody moved in the house and then he left a message tell them i came and i have kept my word though every word he spake fell echoing through the shadowness of the still house from the one man left awake obviously the rest of them are phantoms ghosts they were not awake only one man the traveler was awake a they heard his foot upon the stirrup ab wo ghode pe sawar ho gaya hai uske paon stirrups ke andar फिट हो गए हैं उसने अपने पाँव स्टेरअप्स पे रख लिए हैं बट दे आर स्टिल नॉट आंसरिंग हिज कॉल एंड द साउंड ऑफ आयरन ऑन स्टोन स्टोन ऑब्वियसली उसका पाथ हुए था आयरन घोड़े के हुव्स के नीचे आपको पता है हॉर्स शू लगाते हैं वो आयरन है एंड हाउ द साइलेंस सर्च सॉफ्टली बैकवर्ड वेन द प्लानिंग हुव्स व गॉन आप ये देखें कि ये पोएम एटीन और 1956 के दरमियान लिखी गई है सेंचुरी की पोएम है बट द मिस्ट्री इज स्टिल हेयर मिस्ट्री क्या है डिस्कस करते हैं रीडिंग फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वाई डिड द ट्रेवलर कॉल्ड आउट एज ही नॉक्ट द टूर ऑब्वियसली ही वॉज ओवर देयर इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट ठीक है एंड देर वॉज नो बडी आंसरिंग हिज कॉल सो ही नॉक्ट द डोर लाउडली रात का आधी रात का वक्त है उस वक्त तो सब घर वाले घर में ताले लगा के सो जाते हैं सो दैट इज वाई ही नॉक्ट एट द डोर टू वेक द रेजिडेंस आप एंड टू टॉक टू देम अबाउट वॉट टाइम वॉज इट वेन द ट्रेवलर अराइव एट द डोर डेफिनेटली इट्स द नाइट टाइम वो कमल खामोशी है कोई आवाज नहीं है जंगल रात को भी जागता है ठीक है नॉक्टर्नल एनिमल्स होते हैं वो एनिमल्स जो रात को शिकार करते हैं वो भी मौजूद होते हैं आवाज़ें होती हैं उनकी फ्रॉग्स हैं आउल्स हैं इन सब की आवाज़ें होती हैं बट देर वॉज नो बडी अवेक और अलाइव एट दैट स्पेसिफिक एरिया दैट्स वाई देर वॉज नो साउंड बट इट वॉज द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट दैट इज वॉट इज क्रिएटिंग द मिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस फॉर्म वॉट रिस्पॉन्स टू हिज नॉकिंग डिट द ट्रेवलर रिसीव ही रिसीव नथिंग द ट्रेवलर रिसीव नो रिस्पॉन्स टू हिज नॉकिंग द ट्रेवलर रिसीव नो साउंड ऑफ हिज रिप्लाई इन द हाउस नो साउंड दैट वुड कम्फर्ट हिम दैट समबडी इज हेयरिंग हिज कॉल दैट समबडी इज गोइंग टू आंसर हिज कॉल हु वॉज लिसनिंग टू द ट्रेवलर कॉल द फैंटम्स दैट लिव इन दैट स्पेसिफिक residents those phantoms were actually listening to his call what was the traveler's final message to whoever was in the house the traveler's final message to whoever in the house was that to give somebody the message that he had come and he had kept his word what was the response to his final message there was no reply to his final message he did give the final message but there was no answer to his call What did the traveler do in the end? The traveler rode his horse and walked back, went back, right? 
So these were the answers for reading for understanding. Let me move on to reading for inference. Reading for inference and imagination. Why was the traveler perplexed by the lack of the response to his knocking? Perplexed ka matlab hota hai upset, sad, theek hai? Very, 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 very anxious, theek hai? And he was perplexed because he had come back as he has kept his promise. And nobody was answering his call. Koi khas promise hoga traveler ka? We don't know. It's not described in the poem, theek hai? तो वो खास प्रॉमिस क्या था हमें ये भी नहीं मालूम वॉल्टर डीलर मेयर ने ये पोम इसलिए लिखी है कि हम सोचते रहें कि ट्रैवलर कौन था क्यों आया था क्या प्रॉमिस उसने किया था क्यों फैंटम्स ने उसको रिप्लाई नहीं किया क्यों फैंटम्स वहाँ रहते हैं क्या हुआ था उस हाउस में यू कीप ऑन थिंकिंग एंड थिंकिंग एंड थिंकिंग आफ्टर यू रीड दिस पोम हु और वॉट वॉज इन साइड द हाउस लिसनिंग टू द ट्रैवलर we only know that there were phantoms there were phantoms or spirits that dwelt in this house that lived in that house and they were actually listening to whatever the traveler was saying why is there no answer to the traveler because no living being was living in that house there were only spirits or phantoms and they did not intend to answer to the call of the world of men theek hai so they did not want to call or reply to a living creature Why had the traveler returned to the house? We don't know. It's not described. Maybe it was his parents' house, and he had gone on to the war zone, to the Second World War, to the First World War. Maybe he had returned after the war to find everybody died. Maybe it was his fiancee's house, and he promised to come back after going on a mission. And when he came back, nobody lived. Maybe it was his grandparents' house, and he promised them to visit, but they had died by the time he had come over to visit them. So we have no clue. These are all assumptions that we have made regarding the return of the traveler. स्पीकिंग एंड लिस्निंग ठीक है स्पीकिंग एंड लिस्निंग की वो ही सारे क्वेश्चन हैं जो हम पहले डिस्कस कर चुके हैं मोर और लेस लेकिन मैं अभी भी आपको पढ़ के सुनाऊंगी और आपके साथ हल्का हल्का डिस्कस करूंगी वेयर हैज द ट्रैवलर कम फ्राम वी डोंट नो इट्स नॉट डिस्क्राइब इन द पोएम दैट वेयर हैज द ट्रैवलर कम फ्राम ठीक है होम वॉज ही एक्सपेक्टेड टू सी देर आर मल्टीपल डाइवर्स ऑप्शन रिगार्डिंग होम द ट्रैवलर वॉन्टेड टू सी but we are not sure which option is applicable over here why is the house empty why had he made a promise to come we don't know why the house is empty right all we know that the residents of the house the people who used to live in the house have died so we don't know who was living in the house and why they have died and what was the reason of their head of their death along with that we don't know why he had come back we can just presume or assume the reason for his return is the house really empty yes the house was really empty because no living creature lived over there apart from one bird that flew on the top of the traveler apart from that we know that only the phantoms or the spirits dwelt in that house what occurred in the shadowy house in the past No clue. Anything could have happened. There could have been a general massacre. There could have been a serial killer. There could have been a war or battle. But all we know that is everybody has died. There was nothing in the hall. There was nothing in the turret, and the entire floor was covered with ferns, which meant that nobody was taking care. Did something happen within the house once the traveler had ridden away? Now this is what you have to assume. कि यह traveler जब चला गया तो उसके बाद घर में कुछ हुआ था. Maybe the phantom sat down and discussed. Maybe they cried over something that could have happened if they were alive. Maybe they cried that they could have listened to the traveler at least for once to what he wanted to say to them, but they didn't do anything of that sort. Why did the traveler feel he had to keep his word? The traveler must have been a very noble man, because he had returned and he has told that he has wanted to keep his promise. Right? 
so he must have been a very noble man to keep his promises to keep his words aur ek sleeping guest speaking and listening thi humne assume kiya aur discuss ki ki kya ye poem kis bare mein ho sakti hai right let's move on to the next poem ji ab aate hain aapke writing skills राइटिंग स्किल्स में आपको कहा जा रहा है कि एक स्टोरी लिख दे लिस्टर्स की और ट्रैवलर्स की अब यहाँ पर आपकी इमेजिनेशन बड़े मज़े से यूज़ हो सकती है ठीक है हम क्या करते हैं हम ट्रैवलर को बताते हैं एक ट्रैवलर कैन बी वन सोल्जर एंड दैट हाउस कैन बी हिज बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स ठीक है whom he had been friends since their childhood right and he promised his friend that he would come back from the war and they are going to start up a business but it took him a long time to come back and thus when he came back there was only spirits and then the spirits sat down and talked to him regarding how they were killed by a serial killer and the traveler vowed to take their revenge and thus what he does he goes out and find the killers got them arrested got them arrested and thus freed the spirits from their lock in the last chat the spirits said that it was too late he was too late but finally he had freed them from their revenge and now their souls can leave the world happily story to maine aapko halki si kar di theek hai aur maine teen different colors use karke teen different paragraphs bhi bata diye aap is story ko apne alfaz mein bhi likh sakte hain koi aur turn bhi de sakte hain koi aur साइड भी बयान कर सकते हैं किसी और डायमेंशन में भी लिख सकते हैं सब टू यू नेक्स्ट आर सेंटेंसेस और आपसे कहा गया कि इनक्रेडिबल इनक्रेडुलस इनक्रेडिबली इनक्रेडुलसली क्रेडुलस और क्रेडिबल इनके सेंटेंस बनाएं इनक्रेडिबल होते हैं समथिंग रिमार्केबल ठीक है ही इज एन इनक्रेडिबल artists his paintings are worth watching incredulous is when you can't believe something to so, ab yahan likhenge the teacher incredulous listens to the excuses right incredibly ye remarkably theek hai he survived the accident incredibly apna accident incredibly wo survive kar gaya bach gaya incredulously is incredulous ka adjective hai aur iska bhi yahi matlab hai jab koi aapko kahani suna raha ho aur aap us pe yakeen na kar rahe ho theek hai he incredulously was he was incredulously he was incredulously believed by his parents his teacher his siblings on his fib fib kya hota hai jhoot theek hai credulous credulous is somebody who is so naive that he would believe on everything theek hai she was 
credulous to trust him theek hai a credible ka matlab hota hai jiski ek credibility hoti hai jisko aap believe kar sakte hain jisko aap maan sakte hain theek hai his credibility in the market had brought him major projects so quick recapitulation of today's lesson we did unit 3 mysteries aur is mysteries mein se humne kiya the listeners written by walter de la mer it was a poem is ki reading for understanding reading for inference vocabulary creative writing or sentence construction sab kuch attempt karna mujhe apni duo mein yaad rakhna haste khelte padhte rehna aur jab tak ki hum dobara milte hain is poem ko enjoy karna allah hafiz Thank mm-hmm. you.